Wow, check out this three carat oval diamond set in our petite seamless halo. So much finger coverage you can't resist. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Bonnie with By Bonnie Jewelry, where I talk about all things diamonds. Okay guys, today it's another exciting day. Why? Because I will be showcasing a three carat oval diamond, which, I mean, ovals are have been basically trending for like this past few years now. I mean, so definitely one of the celebrity favorites. Uh, we've got Lily Lively, who has a light pink uh, oval diamond from Ryan Reynolds. And we also have, who else? Oh, Hailey Bieber. I mean, she has another gorgeous oval diamond set on a plain yellow gold band. So today, the one that we're gonna be featuring is a three carat oval on our signature Petite by Bonnie. So what is Petite by Bonnie? Basically, uh, we are going for the delicate look. We're going for a large center stone three carat um, set on a very petite dainty ring so once you put it on it's it's basically just like floating on your hand it's really gorgeous so i'm really excited to show you a close up let's start right now all right let's take a look at the seamless halo if you look closely we actually use a little bit smaller diamonds on the band to give it a little bit more dainty look and then we use slightly larger diamonds on the halo now for you those of you who are looking for an oval diamond don't just focus on color and clarity. Focus on the overall appearance of the oval diamond. Yes, there is going to be bow tie in every oval. It just depends on how strong it is. So you want to minimize that look as much as possible, but still making sure that the overall diamond, it's bright and it's cut well and it sparkles well. So if you also look on the side profile here, the way we lifted the basket, you can actually wear a flush wedding band. Matching the color and the clarity between the center stone and the halo, the diamonds on the halo is extremely important because mismatching would cause like this contrast of colors that you don't want. So that's another thing that we do here at By Bonnie that makes our rings super seamless. And don't make a mistake of buying a ring that has a poorly shaped center stone prong. That really changes the overall look. If you don't have nicely shaped minimal prongs, it will cover a lot of the diamond and you don't want that in your ring. All right, that's it for the close-up of the oval. So I want to give you a few pointers uh, about oval cut diamonds before I end this video. Um, so always remember that any type of cuts that are not round, so we call them fancy shape, right? Um, especially when the diamonds are elongated, uh, you always have to kind of be aware of how the diamond is cut. So I know a lot of um, like bloggers and influencers on Instagram would say like, oh, avoid the bow tie completely. Uh, to be very honest with you, I mean, it, it's, it's pretty much science. I mean, how the diamond is cut and how the light is ref uh, reflecting back to your eye. I mean, bow ties are going to exist in elong like elongated diamonds, like oval or pear shape. What we try to do actually is we just try to minimize it as much as possible. So um, we try to avoid any dark areas that are going to be in the diamond itself. Uh, so that's one thing to look out for um, because when if you search online, like it can be very overwhelming. Like, you know, you just see like a, a short video of the diamond laying down, but sometimes you don't really get to see how the light reflects with it when it's like, re like set on a ring so just remember when you're shopping for an oval diamond don't just you know buy only like color or clarity uh, cut is just way more important uh, in fancy shapes uh, you know I mean color and clarity are important too don't get me wrong but the cut always comes first so if you are thinking about buying an oval cut diamond make sure you reach out to me you can dm me email me text me i'll definitely be happy to guide you and show you examples and on how to get the best looking oval uh, best cut and value pretty much 
Um, all right, make sure you like my video, subscribe to my channel, uh, follow me on Instagram at by Bonnie Jewelry. Make sure you hit the bell on the bottom so you can always uh, see when I post videos. You can be the first one to watch them. That's it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.